guys welcome welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my January TBR I'm super excited these are the first books that I'm going to be reading in 2024 so let's just get started I have about five books that are top priority and then I have some that one will be probably I'm going to be joining a read along a readathon something like that um, it's from the book refuge but a little bit more on that later on and then there are some books that I have that I want to read just in case you know I'm not in the mood to read my fantasy so I have some to the side because in 2023 I did a lot of more reading and I did set up a few TBRs and I basically read maybe two or three books from the list of my TBR but anyways I'm keeping this list short and then I have some books that I want to add on just in case some of the books I do not have because I'm going to be using the library that's one of my goals for this year I haven't made a video regarding my goals I don't know if I'm going to make it at this point but maybe when I do my book reading journal you'll probably see my goals there and that is coming up <laughs> <laughs> and also a flip through of my 2023 but that's for another time all right the first book that i have on this list is going to be the first book in the cosmere world which is the mistborn the final empire i do have a video coming up if it's not posted already it should be before this video goes up or at least i will try to put it up by the time this video goes up i'll link it in the eye and also in the description box down below and there is an order that i <laughs> decided to follow but the first book that i'm going to be reading in the month of january is going to be miss warren the final empire i don't know much about it other than it's part of the cosmere universe from brandon sanderson and that's all i know okay moving on to the next book is one that i was sent by the publisher in tour forge and is a thriller mystery and that is did freeze by michael c bromley i do have a video for my anticipated releases coming up so make sure to check that out after you watch this video and this is a mystery thriller it is about a man that is on a bus and there is an accident the bus goes into the lake and he tries to save everybody he's trying to be the hero but then he wakes up in a hospital and then he doesn't remember what happened and how he got there and then something else that's all i'm gonna say that's all i know so this is one of the books that i'm going to be reading is one of my anticipated releases for 2024 and i'm glad that i was able to get a copy and you'll hear more of it on my wrap up and probably I'll do a separate video, a designated review video for it. Now, the next book that I'm going to be reading is the first book in the Life Ship Traders by Robin Hobb. It is Ship of Magic. This is the first book in this, the next trilogy in the realm of Earthlings. And I'm just so looking forward to this because in case you haven't watched my best of 2023, the Farseer trilogy was one of my top series that I love. I love The Assassin's Apprentice. I don't know much about this trilogy other than it's the next trilogy in the realm of the Erderlings. And the next book that I'm going to be reading is part of a YA series that I started in 2023. Actually, I started back in 2017 and I never finished it because I didn't have the books, but now I do. It is a trilogy. Uh, the name of the trilogy is Swords and Fire by Melissa Caruso. This is the second book. Uh, the first book is the third of Mage or something like that. It was really good. Um, what can I say about it is that there is, there's two kingdoms, there is magic, and that's all I'm gonna say about it really. <laughs> this is the next book in the trilogy that I will be reading in the month of January. Now, another book that is not here, but I do have a package that just came in in the mail, and I'm hoping this is the book, is one of my most anticipated releases for December in 2023, and I believe, well, I'm hoping it's The Ruthless Vows, and it's the second book in the D Divine Rivals. I'm hoping this is it. If it's not, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's see. Oh no, no. Yes, it is! <laughs> Ruthless Vows! Oh my god, so this is an 
comic book that I want to read in the month of January. I absolutely love Divine Rivals. It's one of my favorite books of 2023. Like I said, make sure to check out the best of 2023. I post that. That's already up. So I'll put it in the description box down below. So this is the second book. Um, I got it. I got this one from Waterstones. I absolutely love this. And it's like enemies to lovers, romance, uh, fantasy. And I absolutely love it. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to spoil it. But you don't know. Now you know. <laughs> this is the second book. I don't know how many books are going to be in a series. I don't know if this is just a, a series or a, or a trilogy, a duology. I have no idea. But the name of the series is called Letters of Enchantments. And yeah, I'm so happy. Yes. Now, because I'm a mood reader, like I said in the beginning, I have some books that I want to read. One of them is going to be the first book in the Outlander series. I don't know if it's called the Outlander series, but all I know is that I'm going to be, I'm going to try to join the, re the read along and that is with the book refuge. I leave the information in the description box down below in case you want to join. So yeah, make sure to check that out. And then I don't have the books, but I'll get them from the library. Like I said, I'm going to be using a lot of library books this year. Next two books are part of a duology. It's part of the Industrial Magic duology by Emma Newman. I read this book back in 2017 and I absolutely loved it. And then I thought it was just going to be a standalone. But then when I finished it, I realized that, yeah, there were another book coming and it is The Weirdest Lament. I did read this one. I remember more of this book than I did this one and this one I rated five stars but this one I believe I gave it like three or three point five but I'm not sure I read it a while back and I want to reread it because I love this in the Bro brother's ruin we follow Charlotte she is an artist and also in this world this magic what happened is that when people have magic they are enlisted into the royal not the royal army but they are taken by the royal people and they have to work for them and they need to train because if you're not trained with your magic you can either die or kill other people or you can become bad something like that for what i can remember and there's also a little bit of maybe romance in here because then we have a guy a professor that's there and he kind of guides her and also she has has a brother that he's really sick and the family is also going through a financial uh, disaster because the father was very irresponsible with the family fortune so she needs to work in order to save the family from financial ruin and yeah so that's all I, I remember but these aren't going to be reading the short stories novellas so I should be able to get to them and then another one that I want to read and I want to continue on this is a dark romance uh, series that I started in 2023 and that is The Mouse High Club by T.L. Swan. I read the first book, which is The Stopover, and I absolutely love it. I gave it five stars. There's five books in the series. I only read the first book. I do have up until book three, which is the Casanova. And then after that, I need to get the do over and the miles ever after. And I just cannot wait to continue on with this. These are like my palette cleanser. So because I'm going to start reading a lot of series this coming year, this 20, in 2024, I want to make sure that I have some palette cleanser that I do indulge in some of my dark romance, you know, forbidden, you know, steamy romances. So yeah. But anyways, this is all that I have for you guys i guess i will see you in my next video thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in my next video bye